Have you ever thought about what makes a relationship not just last, but truly thrive? Is it love, compatibility, or something else? What if I told you that at the heart of every strong relationship lies a simple yet powerful ingredient, trust? Yes, trust. It's the glue that binds people together, the foundation upon which everything else is built. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of relationships, specifically focusing on cultivating trust, the foundation of healthy relationships. Whether it's with a partner, friend, family member, or even colleagues, establishing trust can make all the difference. We'll explore why trust is so critical, how it impacts our connections, and most importantly, how you can build or rebuild this essential component in your relationships. From understanding to action, we've got practical steps and insights that will guide you towards stronger, more trusting relationships. So whether you're looking to deepen existing bonds or hoping to start on the right foot with someone new, you're in the perfect place. Stick around as we unlock the secrets to cultivating trust, because when trust is present, anything is possible. Let's start this transformative journey together. Don't skip ahead. Every moment of this video is a step toward nurturing healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Let's dive in. 1. Open Communication In the realm of trust, open communication acts as the sunlight, essential for growth and understanding. Marcus Aurelius once stated, Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. This profound insight reminds us of the importance of sharing our perspectives with openness and humility. True communication goes beyond mere words. It's about conveying our feelings, doubts, and dreams with honesty. Imagine the pain of misunderstandings, the shadows that cast long on relationships, cleared away by the light of open dialogue. Emotionally, it's akin to opening a window in a stuffy room, letting fresh air and sunlight embrace the space. But let's not forget the vulnerability that accompanies this act. The fear of not being understood or accepted can be heart-wrenching. Yet, it is through this very vulnerability that trust begins to take root, growing stronger with every shared secret, every fear confided, and every dream discussed. This is where love breathes, in the spaces between our words, in the silence filled with understanding. True understanding requires more than just speaking. It demands listening with an open heart. It's the late night conversations where words flow freely, the moments when silence speaks louder than words, and the courage to voice our deepest fears. This is where trust begins to blossom in the shared silences and whispered secrets. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, listen well to hear what is being said to you, emphasizing the sacred act of truly hearing one another. It's in these moments of genuine exchange that we find the threads of trust, weaving a bond that withstands the test of time. 2. Consistency in Actions Marcus Aurelius once wisely remarked, your actions and your action alone determines your worth. In the landscape of trust, consistency is the water that nurtures our growing seed. Actions that mirror our words, promises kept, and reliability in the face of life's tempests are what solidify trust. Consider the feeling of reliance, the emotional security that comes from knowing a loved one will act as they have said. This consistency is a shelter in the storm, a safe haven. Yet the reality is that humans are fallible. We falter, make mistakes, and sometimes our actions misalign with our words, leading to cracks in the foundation of trust. The heartbreak of betrayal, even in its simplest form, is a bitter pill to swallow. It's in these moments that the true challenge emerges, the challenge to forgive, to understand, and to rebuild. Emotionally, it's akin to healing a wound, painful yet necessary for growth. Through consistency, we not only rebuild trust but also fortify it. 
making it resilient against the tempests yet to come. Trust is the shadow cast by actions, not the echo of our words. It's found in the small, consistent acts of kindness, the reliability in moments of need, and the steadfast presence that whispers, I am here. Marcus Aurelius advises, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. In embodying our ideals through action, we offer the most authentic expression of trust. This consistency becomes the bedrock of our relationships, a foundation unshaken by storms, proving that in the realm of trust, actions indeed speak louder than words. 3. Empathy and Understanding Empathy, as Marcus Aurelius taught, is about seeing with the eyes of another, listening with the ears of another and feeling with the heart of another. In the dance of trust, empathy is the rhythm that moves us closer, allowing us to step into our partner's shoes and see the world from their vantage point. The emotional resonance of feeling understood, of knowing someone strives to comprehend your battles and joys, is profound. It binds hearts in a silent agreement of mutual respect and care. However, the journey of empathy is not without its pitfalls. Misunderstandings can lead to feelings of isolation, where one feels unseen and unheard, akin to shouting into the void. The pain of such moments is real, a stark reminder of our need for connection. Yet, it is through navigating these trials, through the effort to understand and be understood, that we forge a deeper trust. This emotional alchemy transforms pain into compassion, turning heartbreak into a stronger, more resilient bond. Empathy becomes the bridge over troubled waters, guiding us back to each other, time and again. Empathy is the bridge between souls, a path paved with the stones of understanding and compassion. It's seeing through another's eyes, feeling with another's heart, and walking a mile in their shoes. Marcus Aurelius once said, to feel affection for people even when they make mistakes is uniquely human. This gentle acceptance and striving to understand the heart of another is what forges the deepest connections. In the embrace of empathy, trust is nurtured, growing strong and resilient, reminding us that at the core of every heart lies the desire to be understood and accepted. Four. Respect for boundaries. Respect for one's privacy is a virtue, Marcus Aurelius might have observed in the context of modern relationships. In the tapestry of trust, respecting boundaries is akin to acknowledging and honoring the garden's fence. It demarcates where one can tread and where one should pause, reflecting a deep understanding and appreciation for individuality within a shared bond. The emotional tranquility that comes from having one's boundaries respected is profound. It fosters a sense of safety, a space where the soul can roam freely without fear of intrusion or overstep. Yet the reality of relationships often brings us to the edge of these boundaries, sometimes inadvertently crossing into the sacred grounds of the other. The ensuing hurt and betrayal, though unintended, can feel like a fissure in the bedrock of trust. It's a moment of truth, an opportunity to address the breach with humility, to mend what has been torn with sincerity and care. Through this process, respect for boundaries evolves from a concept to a lived practice, one that nurtures trust and deepens the connection between souls. It is in the honoring of each other's boundaries that love finds its truest expression, allowing each individual to flourish while being intricately woven into the fabric of the relationship. Boundaries are the sacred lines within which the soul feels safe to wander. Respecting these lines is a testament to our regard for the individuality of those we love. Marcus Aurelius prompts us, Accept the things to which fate binds you. In acknowledging and embracing each other's boundaries, we honor the fate that binds us, fostering a trust that respects individual space while nurturing collective growth. 
This delicate balance of closeness and independence is the dance of trust, where each step is taken with mindfulness and respect for the other's rhythm. 5. Genuine Apologies and Forgiveness The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury, Marcus Aurelius asserted, highlighting the power of forgiveness over retaliation. In the journey of trust, genuine apologies and forgiveness are the rain that heals the parched earth, allowing new growth to emerge from the scars of past hurts. The emotional release of forgiving or being forgiven is akin to shedding chains that bind us to our past grievances, freeing us to move forward. Yet, the path to genuine apology and forgiveness is fraught with challenges. Pride, pain, and the shadow of past betrayals can cloud our ability to see the way forward. The heartbreak of acknowledging one's own faults or facing the pain caused by another requires a strength that is both tender and formidable. It's in this crucible of emotional turmoil that the true depth of trust is tested and, ultimately, fortified. Apologies become not just words, but bridges rebuilt, while forgiveness becomes the act of crossing these bridges hand in hand. This mutual journey of healing not only restores trust, but elevates it, transforming the relationship into a testament to the resilience of the human heart. It is through genuine apologies and the grace of forgiveness that we discover the most profound truths about ourselves and each other. In the realm of trust, apologies and forgiveness are the salve that heals wounds and restores balance. It's acknowledging our fallibility, the courage to say, I was wrong, and the grace to forgive. Marcus Aurelius counsels, the best way of avenging oneself is not to become like the wrongdoer. In choosing forgiveness over retaliation, we free ourselves from the chains of bitterness, opening the doors to rebuilding trust. This cycle of apology and forgiveness is the heartbeat of trust, each beat a step towards healing and understanding, reminding us of our shared humanity. 6. Sharing Vulnerabilities Marcus Aurelius, in his contemplations, might have mused on the strength found in vulnerability, stating, to be vulnerable is to live to the fullest. Trust flourishes in the soil of vulnerability, where the seeds of our deepest fears, hopes, and dreams are sown. Sharing vulnerabilities is the ultimate act of trust, a declaration that we believe the other is capable of holding the most fragile parts of our being with care. The emotional connection that blooms from this shared vulnerability is unmatched, creating a bond that is both intimate and profound. Yet the act of opening our innermost selves comes with its own fears. The fear of rejection, of being seen as less than, of not being held with the care we so desperately seek. The pain of such moments can be shattering, a stark reminder of the risks inherent in bearing our souls. However, it is precisely through these trials that the strength of our trust is both tested and reinforced. In sharing our vulnerabilities, we not only invite our partners into our inner worlds, but also encourage them to share their own. This mutual exchange of trust and vulnerability weaves a tapestry of connection that is rich with understanding, compassion, and an unbreakable bond of shared humanity. It is in our willingness to be vulnerable that we find our greatest strength and the most enduring form of trust. To share one's vulnerabilities is to lay bare the soul, exposing the essence of our being to the light of another's gaze. It's in this act of bravery that trust finds its deepest roots. Marcus Aurelius believed, a man's worth is no greater than the worth of his ambitions. When we share our fears, our dreams, and our failures, we reveal our true ambitions, inviting others to understand our journey. This shared vulnerability creates a bond of trust so profound that it becomes the foundation upon which true intimacy is built, a sanctuary where souls connect and flourish. 7. Mutual Support and Encouragement 
Men exist for the sake of one another, Marcus Aurelius reminded us, underscoring the importance of support and encouragement within relationships. Trust is nurtured in the actions we take to uplift and stand by our partner, especially in times of challenge and uncertainty. This mutual support is the embodiment of trust in action, a tangible expression of our commitment to each other's well-being and success. The emotional warmth and security that come from knowing we have a steadfast ally in our corner can turn the tide of our darkest days, igniting a flame of hope and courage within. However, life's trials often test this mutual support challenging us to remain present and supportive even when we ourselves might feel depleted. The strain of such moments can reveal cracks in the foundation of our trust, moments when support wavers under the weight of our own struggles. Yet, it is through these very challenges that the depth of our commitment is revealed and strengthened. By choosing to stand together, to lift each other up when we fall, we weave a safety net of trust that holds us both. This commitment to mutual support and encouragement not only sustains our relationship through the storms, but also propels us toward our shared dreams and aspirations. It is in giving and receiving support that we find our bonds deepened, our trust solidified, and our journey together enriched. Support and encouragement are the winds beneath the wings of trust, lifting it to new heights. It's the hand that holds us up when we falter, the voice that cheers us on when we doubt. Marcus Aurelius reminds us, what is not good for the swarm is not good for the bee. In the mutual giving and receiving of support, we recognize that the well-being of our relationships is intertwined with our own. This symbiotic flow of encouragement and trust strengthens the bond between individuals, ensuring that together, we soar higher than we ever could alone. 8. Shared Goals and Values The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane, Marcus Aurelius provocatively stated, highlighting the significance of living in alignment with one's values and goals. In the realm of trust, Shared goals and values act as the compass that guides the relationship, ensuring that both partners are moving in the same direction, towards a common horizon. This alignment creates a sense of unity and purpose, a shared journey that is both meaningful and enriching. The emotional bond that forms when two individuals are aligned in their deepest convictions and aspirations is powerful providing a solid foundation upon which trust can flourish. However, the path to discovering and aligning these shared goals and values is not always smooth. Differences in opinion and life paths can sometimes create tension, leading to moments of doubt and disillusionment. The challenge then lies in navigating these differences with respect and openness finding common ground while honoring the uniqueness of each individual's journey. Through this process of exploration and alignment, trust is not only maintained but strengthened, as partners learn to embrace their shared vision while respecting their individual paths. This harmonious balance between individuality and unity fosters a deep sense of trust and partnership, making the relationship a true alliance in the journey of life. Shared goals and values are the compass that guides the ship of trust, steering it through the tumultuous seas of life. It's the common ground upon which we stand, the shared vision that propels us forward. Marcus Aurelius muses, he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. This harmony is mirrored in our relationships when our values align, creating a symphony of trust that resonates through the depths of our being. In this alignment, trust flourishes, binding us together in a journey that is both individual and shared, a testament to the power of unity in diversity. 9. Celebrating each other's successes. Very little is needed to make a happy life, 
It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking, Marcus Aurelius once said, reminding us of the joy found in contentment and gratitude. In the landscape of trust, celebrating each other's successes is akin to basking in the warmth of the sun, reveling in the joy and accomplishments of our partner as if they were our own. This celebration is a testament to the strength of the bond, a demonstration of genuine happiness for the other's achievements without envy or competition. The emotional uplift that comes from this shared joy is infectious, reinforcing the trust and admiration between partners. Yet, the journey to genuine celebration is not without its challenges. In moments of personal struggle or insecurity, the success of a partner can sometimes cast a shadow on our own path, leading to feelings of inadequacy or jealousy. These moments test the resilience of trust, requiring us to confront our insecurities and choose joy over comparison. By celebrating each other's successes, we not only affirm the value of our partner's achievements, but also reinforce our commitment to their happiness and fulfillment. This shared celebration becomes a powerful expression of trust, a declaration that we are truly in this together, cheering each other on every step of the way. Celebrating each other's successes is the joyous affirmation of trust, a recognition of the achievements that make us who we are. It's rejoicing in the victories, both big and small, knowing that in each other's success, we find our own happiness. Marcus Aurelius reflects, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. When we choose to celebrate with genuine enthusiasm and pride, we uplift not only the spirits of those we love, but also fortify the trust that underpins our relationship. This celebration of success becomes a shared happiness, a beacon of trust that shines brightly in the heart of our connection. In the intricate dance of relationships, Cultivating trust is both an art and a science, requiring patience, understanding, and a commitment to growth. As we have explored through the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and the nine powerful psychological strategies, trust is the foundation upon which healthy, enduring relationships are built. It is in the giving and receiving of trust that we discover the true strength of our bonds navigating the joys and challenges of life hand in hand. Remember, dear viewers, to nurture trust in your relationships, to tread with care and compassion, and to cherish the bond that connects you to others. Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration and discovery. If this message resonated with you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insights into the art of living well. Together, let us cultivate gardens of trust that bloom with the flowers of love and understanding.